My partner today is going to be my brother, Zach Brennan. He's the head coach at Tri-Center MMA, and he's going to be helping me out today teaching these techniques. Okay, right now we're going to go over the basic Kimura. Um, best way to set up a Kimura, a lot of times guys will keep their arms up here. If they're controlling you up here, we're going to switch to a different technique. You don't want to actually want to set up the Kimura from here. The Kimura is easy to set up when your opponent plants his hands on the mat. Anytime he plants his hands on the mat, I can start to set up a Kimura. Now, one thing that uh, a lot of other teachers will show you is to grab the wrist first before setting this up. And if you grab the wrist first, right away your opponent knows what you're trying to do and he's going to try and defend, okay? So I want to kind of sneak attack on this. From here, as soon as I'm ready, I'm going to uncross and sit straight up and wrap his arm up nice and tight with my arm, keep my elbow tight so that if he tries to escape and pull out, my body is attached to him, it's going to go with him. He can't just pull his arm out. Now from here, since this is already underneath, I'm going to grab the wrist, okay, gable grip or monkey grip, keep my thumb attached to my fingers, and this hand's going to reach underneath and lock up the grip, uh, figure four grip, holding my wrist and his wrist. Now as I fall back, I want to plant my foot on the same side of the arm I'm attacking. So as I scoot and fall back, I scoot my hip out, away from my opponent, and then I turn toward my opponent. Okay, from here I recross my legs so that he can't escape by rolling out. If I have a larger opponent, I can't get my legs recrossed, I'll drop my foot right here to trap the back of his leg so that he can't roll out. Okay, I prefer the recross here so I can keep my knees tight on him. Now, hugging his arm nice and tight to my chest, keep his arm uh, in the L shape. I want to pin my elbow to his shoulder right here so that he can't straighten his arm out. Now from here, instead of trying to fight his arms, especially if I have a strong guy, all I want to do is hug it tight and turn my body toward him, forcing him to tap out. In a case when you get a really strong guy, and I have the Kimura set up here, a lot of times you'll see in fights or submission tournaments where the, the, the top guy is keeping his arms straight and they're fighting and fighting and fighting trying to finish this. The best way to finish this is to use this arm that's already right in the bend of his arm and the one that's controlling his wrist. All I want to do, no matter how strong he is, I'm going to reverse kind of reverse motorcycle grip. I want to turn it the opposite way as I pull into the wrist, so or into the bend of his arm. So as he straightens his arm nice and tight, I curl it here forward and bend it, hugging it tight to my chest. Okay, now he can't straighten his arm out. I scoot my hip to the side and I finish the exact same way. I just want to make sure that I curl my wrist the opposite direction, keeping the bend, my wrist in the bend of his arm so that he can't straighten out anymore. That way, if I let his arm come off my chest, we can do this all day where a guy may straighten his arm and get out, okay? So I want to curl this, hug it tight to my chest and keep it bent so that he's got nowhere to go and then finish same way.